The control unit is a component of a computer's central processing unit that directs operation of the processor. It controls communication and coordination between input-output devices. It reads and interprets instructions and determines the sequence for processing the data. It directs the operation of the other units by providing timing and control signals. All computer resources are managed by the CU. It directs the flow of data between the central processing unit and the other devices. The control unit was historically defined as one distinct part of the 1946 reference model of von Neumann architecture. In modern computer designs, the control unit is typically an internal part of the CPU with its overall role and operation unchanged. Functions of the control unit The control unit is the circuitry that controls the flow of data through the processor, and coordinates the activities of the other units within it. In a way, it is the brain within the brain, as it controls what happens inside the processor, which in turn controls the rest of the computer. The examples of devices that require a control unit are CPUs and graphics processing units. The control unit receives external instructions or commands which it converts into a sequence of control signals that the control unit applies to the data path to implement a sequence of register transfer level operations. The control unit is generally a sizable collection of complex digital circuitry interconnecting and controlling the many execution units contained within a CPU. The CU is normally the first CPU unit to accept from an externally stored computer program, a single instruction, based on the CPU A01 registered trademark S instruction set, then decode this individual instruction into several sequential steps that controls and coordinates the CPU A01 registered trademark S into works. These detailed steps from the CU dictate which of the numerous CPU A01 registered trademark S interconnecting hardware control signals to enable disable or which CPU units are selected deselected and the unit A01 registered trademark S proper order of execution as required by the instruction A01 registered trademark S operation. Additionally, the CUA01 registered trademark S orderly hardware coordination properly sequences these control signals then configures the many hardware units comprising the CPU, directing how data should also be moved, changed, and stored outside the CPU according to the instruction A01 registered trademark S objective. Depending on the type of instruction entering the CU, the order and number of sequential steps produced by the CU could vary the selection and configuration of which parts of the CPU A01 registered trademark S hardware are utilized to achieve the instructions objective. This one feature, that efficiently uses just software instructions to control and configure a computer A01 registered trademark S CPU hardware and eventually manipulates a program A01 registered trademark S data, is a significant reason most modern computers are flexible and universal when running various programs. As compared to some 1930s or 1940s computers without a proper CU, they often required rewiring their hardware when changing programs. This CU instruction decode process is then repeated when the program counter is incremented to the next stored program address and the new instruction enters the CU from that address, and so on till the program's end. Other more advanced forms of control units manage the translation of instructions into several micro-instructions and the CU manages the scheduling of the micro-instructions between the selected execution units to which the data is then channeled and changed according to the execution unit A01 registered trademark S function. On some processors, the control unit may be further broken down into additional units, such as an instruction unit or scheduling unit to handle scheduling or a retirement unit to deal with results coming from the instruction pipeline. Again, the control unit orchestrates the main functions of the CPU, carrying out stored instructions in the software program then directing the flow of data throughout the computer based upon these instructions. Hardwired control unit Hardwired control units are implemented through use of sequential logic units, featuring a finite number of gates that can generate specific results based on the instructions that were used to invoke those responses. Hardwired control units are generally faster than microprogram designs. Their design uses a fixed archite Xuria Euro it requires changes in the wiring of the instruction set is modified or changed. 
This architecture is preferred in reduced instruction set computers as they use a simpler instruction set. A controller that uses this approach can operate at high speed. However, it has little flexibility, and the complexity of the instruction set it can implement is limited. The hardwired approach has become less popular as computers have evolved. Previously, control units for CPUs used ad hoc logic, and they were difficult to design. Microprogram Control Unit The idea of microprogramming was introduced by Morris Wilkes in 1951 as an intermediate level to execute computer program instructions. Microprograms were organized as a sequence of microinstructions and stored in special control memory. The algorithm for the microprogram control unit is usually specified by flowchart description. The main advantage of the microprogram control unit is the simplicity of his structure. Outputs of the controller are organized in microinstructions and they can be easily replaced. See also, CPU design, computer architecture, Richard's controller, controller, references.